welcome to single 35 okay single 30 and broke my name is Benta Nigeria oops do you know what it is to be single and then to be 30 and then you have the last one of it to be broke that's like all of it together Jesus you love me too much oh too much oh too much oh excess love oh. so hmm I'm doing um, this YouTube video on one of my favorite topics ever, single and broke. Uh, what's worse than being broke? What the hell is worse than being broke? Sometimes I even get depressed. Like people are like, why are you, why are you doing funny things when you're broke? I'm like, because I'm depressed. I need to live in my life. I need to feel comfortable. I need to feel fine. So I have to do something. So being single if you're from the regular african family where when you're single it's like it's a you've committed a crime you understand what i'm talking about right now so like when you're single everybody's like on your case they're praying when they go to church they're praying for you and sometimes you even start praying for yourself like could there be something wrong with me i need to pray maybe something is going on in my life and i don't know probably spiritual husband <laughs> you know that's like the first thing african parents think it's like you have a spiritual husband that's probably why you are you are kind of lazy when it comes to having a relationship well i'll tell you about myself for me i i enjoy being single i feel like it's not really about the enjoyment i just feel like there are a lot of things i want to do and if i'm in a relationship i wouldn't be able to achieve so many of those things which is wrong it is wrong to think that a person can come into your life and disrupt you I think for every person you should be able to manage yourself because that's what a person can do, should do you should be able to manage yourself because you should be able to manage relationship at the same time with work so that makes you a balanced human being but I am not that kind of person I just feel like I need my time I need my space I need everything like I just need to have my space that's all that's like my major problem I need to have my space and all that so I'm not really interested right now now, like I'm not going to be interested later, I'm sure I'll be interested in no time. But for now, I am trying to be myself, which is what makes me happy. Now, like people not coming, a lot of people are coming. Sometimes I even like them too much, and I feel like I, I can't even actually let go. But no, I have to because I have reasons why I am trying to. Maybe in the next six months, my mindset might change. I don't know. But for now, I just want to be left alone. So I can find myself so for those of us who are single and you want to know how you can grow even when you're single uh, single and happy oh my goodness there are ways to be single and happy by the way I'm sorry I'm always looking this way this this mirror so it makes me feel like oh my gosh oh my gosh so I'm looking at myself all the time well okay that's that my tips on being single and how to stay single and how to keep bubbling single are very few tips and I'll just share with you how I do it and how I live in the single life and not feel like I am left out on anything before. My number one tip is finding your purpose in life. If you if you find your purpose, I realize that if you find your purpose, you wouldn't even remember that you are lacking something. Sometimes you get to remember because normally you have people in your life that makes you remember so that's like that and then you go on social network which is like the number one place to see all the relationship goals that you're not having that you can see and then you're like oh relationship goals uh, i wish i was in one oh well that's that's for that but then um my number one is finding your purpose because i think that if you find your purpose you would really be into it that you wouldn't remember that you have to slash your time for somebody else i think that's like my number one um tips on staying single and flourishing single so um my number two tip is actually learn to have fun by yourself like learn to find yourself interesting stay stay juicy like what i mean by staying juicy like you stay up on your game like you keep up in your game you just try your best to how do i explain this okay let me do it this way when you try to stay 
up in your game is like you keep slaying as you you keep slaying whether you you're with somebody or not you slay for you that's how i say keep up your game you still do what you whatever you were doing when you were in a relationship or if you just if you never if you've never been in a relationship just like i have never been i think you can actually just keep doing what makes you happy that way you can keep keep moving that's like my number two and then my number my number three tip is going out you can actually hang out with friends don't say okay because i don't have a boy i need to sit down or because i don't have a girl i need to stay back at home hell no no who said nobody can actually be there with somebody sometimes i even get angry when people say this is for couple I'm like one time i even have had an issue with um, a video presenter i called in for a game and then she was like are you single i'm like yeah and she said you can't win because you're not in a relationship i was like oh wow so those of us that are not in a relationship should go and die Abby. is that it and she was like no 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 don't don't think that way i'm like wait that's what you made me feel like because i'm not in a relationship so i can't actually have the luxury of getting what other people are getting but uh, then again i realized that the game had what they preferred and the winners they already had in mind so it was arranged so that they could do it that way like whatever whatever they're doing that's actually their favorite so okay my next tip is actually looking up to good like this one is this one i think this one should be my number one tip because it is it is just what you need to do i listen to gospel music i put like th like okay i need to compose this very well okay this tip is all about looking up to god sometimes when you are very very like okay sorry guys i need to do this again i need to talk about how do i put it okay this next tip is for you to know that you have somebody look up to god listen to him like what i do is actually t music therapy and this music therapy is a gospel music therapy like right now i have my recent music that is actually giving me waves and making me feel very loved by god is um ss love by, Ch by messy message Chim war yeah ss love by message Chim war this song is, like gets to my soul it talks to me about what god's love is all about for me like when i think about god's love i'm satisfied like i almost need nothing but sometimes it's like I need real hands to touch me. I need real love. I need real hug. I need real physical, physical person. But then again, man, there's nothing as comforting, as comforting as the love of God. So when I listen to gospel music, it just sings through my head and it's like, oh my goodness, you have God. So what do you need? Damn it. What do you need? So that's what I do. I listen to gospel music and that takes me to the next level so lastly is the broke part when you're broke you really get to realize that you are single because you're not really busy you're not really busy and when you're busy i mean busy counting money counting dollars cash like you get really busy and when you're that busy it's money wise so when you're money wise when you're busy in that sense you don't even remember that you don't have anybody for you so i think basically money has something to do with brokenness and brokenness has something to do with single when you're single you're broke it's like two major problems so maybe on my next video i'll try to put how i make money online and how i make money for myself as a single girl and how i am able to pay for things that i want to pay how i save up and do things for myself so thank you guys for watching my mom is my aunt is calling me and oh my god visiting my aunt is like you don't have time for anything so right now i'm in a hurry once i'm done with this video i have to run outside so you can tease me and then send me an errand <laughs> painful right i know no.